What's going on, Supers? Welcome back to another episode of Swoop Luke. In this episode, we'll be going over the Collingwood AFLW season, what's in store for us, and where I think we can finish. So let's run the intro, jump straight into it. Just before we do jump straight into it, of course, follow me on all my social media accounts, Twitch, TikTok, Instagram. Instagram, I'm posting daily so much good Collingwood content, you know, sometimes before even uh, the official Collingwood page posts about it, so be sure to, to follow me on there. It's at Swoop Luke, the best Collingwood, I might be biased, but it's the best Collingwood page going around. But now, let's just jump into the AFLW Collingwood season. So our season starts off tomorrow against Carlton at Icon Park. It's our first uh, game in a year. It's the first game Victorians can go and see in almost a year, or probably about you know a year as well. It's going to be awesome. Let me tell you, it's going it's going to be a great season opener against the arch rivals. Big stage Thursday night under lights. Uh, it's a ticketed event as well. They've started charging for um, tickets now. $10 a, an adult uh, head there. So amazing. Get that revenue in. I think there's only about 9,000 uh, people because of COVID. But it will sell out. So if you haven't already, get tickets and get that reserve seating. Because it is going to be one hell of a game. So we play nine games this season. And they're all subject to change. We've already seen uh, a game change. Our round two game against Fremantle. We are now playing Gold Coast at Vic Park. Round three, we play West Coast. That will probably change as well. Four uh, against Adelaide at Vic Park. Five, Geelong and Geelong. Six, St. Kilda. Seven, the Giants at home. And then Brisbane away round eight. And then we finish our season off against Melbourne in round nine at Victoria Park. So we come home strong. It is a very... It's 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 a it's a very good fixture. We did finish high last year. We got into the semi final. Obviously, we lost to the Kangaroos by three points. Ultimately, it didn't matter because that season or the final season uh, got called off because of COVID and stuff like that. But th- that's given us a a better or a, a stronger a stronger fixture. There isn't any conferences anymore, which is mwah, perfect. You know. Chef kiss. I hated, absolutely hated conferences. Last season, we had a very strong conference uh, as opposed to conference A. We don't play every team, obviously, but there's no conferences and there's going to be a proper ladder and stuff like that, which I absolutely love. So what does this all mean for our season going forward? Last year was our first year under Steve Simmons, uh, obviously our new coach, and he elevated us to heights that we haven't seen Ever since you know the uh, inaugural 2017 season, we've been you know trailing in that bottom of the ladder. Last year we made finals for the first time, and that's thanks to Steve's coaching and obviously all the other coaches as well. But the game plan, that excitement, we're not um, we haven't got the best forward line, but we made it work last year. It's that explosiveness, that excitement, that running that we can do. We we have a very very good midfield. Our defense is sound as well. So I think that finals berth last year is a bit of a monkey off our back. So we don't have that, are we going to make finals? Are we going to make finals? Are we going to make finals? We've made it once already. Done. Now we just take it as it comes. And I think that we are in for a really good uh, season. I do have us finishing kind of like the boys, but I'll talk about that in another video. I do have us finishing in the top four. And that might be a little bit crazy. But I do have us finishing in the top four. We've talked about um, some of the changes on field. What about the changes off field? There was a lot of ins and outs during the draft and during trading as well. Brought a couple of new girls in, a lot of new girls via the draft. One of them being Tani Brown. Yes, we know. Another Brown. Amazing. We've had this. Will, uh, Tani will debut against Carlton. She'll be the fourth Brown to play for the Pies. And that's just an incredible feat and she's you know by all accounts and from training and, and everything that's uh, has been uh, talked about her kind of like what chloe is you know explosive quick a good kick and she's a brown so you know that she's going to put her head over the ball and going to give us nothing less than 110 percent we also drafted Amelia Velado, who is wearing buckley's number five and that's just 
huge, not because of, you know, no expectations on her, but that to get a club legends number, and, and she's talked about it as well, is, you know, phenomenal. We brought in Abby Green, Alicia Newman as well from Melbourne, who is another forward uh, that's electric and, you know, can, can uh, run circles around oppositions, which we, which we saw last season against us as well. So our forward line is coming together. Not the biggest, not the strongest, but we could be the quickest and we could be the most dangerous. We saw a shuffle with our captains as well. Steph is our captain and has been our captain since 2017, but joining her is Brie Davey as our co-captain. She's the only player from the girls or the guys side, or Collingwood side, to have captained both Carlton and Collingwood, which is an incredible, an incredible stat. And shout out to uh, at Sir Swamp Thing on Twitter for that amazing stat. And then joining them as well, Shiny Layton. We love Shiny uh, at Sweet Luke. Um, how she goes about it. So that'd be great that she's stepping up into that leadership role as well. I touched on it before as well. I do see us uh, finishing in the top four. You got to think that we'll welcome back as well Ash Brazel from an ACL. She started to train a little bit. We did miss her uh, in the back line uh, towards the end of last season. Could we have beaten the Kangaroos if she was there? Probably we only end up losing by three points, but we welcome her back. Some of the new you know, debutantes and some of the younger girls get another season in them. Chloe Malloy, another fan favorite you know, in 2018, she had that uh, foot injury right throughout for the season. Now, injury-free, and she is going to run circles around the competition. We can see her mostly in the forward line, pinch-hitting in uh, the midfield as well. Look, long story short, there is a hell of a lot to be excited about. This girls' team is the best we've had on paper. You know, and I'm talking Brie Davey through the middle. Jamie Lambert, who could win... Um, the best and fairest again. Uh, uh, just the way she goes about. It. She's personally my favorite uh, AFL or Collingwood AFLW player. Just the way she goes about it, and she she was on fire last season. She was absolutely on fire last season. Sarah Rowe as well, our Irish girl. Uh, Michaela Cut. Uh, it's just every single. I, I I can't tell you how excited I am, and I'll be there tomorrow um, against the Blues at Icon Park. So if you see me, come say hi. But. I cannot express how excited I am for this season. We're going to go deep. I was going to say deep into September, but I think it's like deep into March or deep into February or something like that. Um, and we could, we we could do the the almost impossible and bring home a Premiership Cup. And I really do feel like it. I feel like these girls can challenge. What Steve's done is just second to none. We're going to see more of that exciting in brand of football. More about taking the game on. More goals. We're in. Buckle up because we're in for one hell of a ride. Anyway, Swoopers, that's just been my quick AFLW Collingwood season preview. Let me know below where you think we'll finish, how you think we're going to go. Are you going to the game tomorrow? Let me know. But in the meantime, like, comment, subscribe. Tell your family, tell your friends, tell your pets. And until next time, double shackers. I'll sweep you all later. Ooh la la.